I'm going to give you a quick overview of the uh, ABR uh, viewer. Um, when you first download it, it is a little bit confusing. It's going to look like this folder here. And um, normally when you download software, you have to click to install it, but that's not the case with the ABR viewer. You would just um, put this somewhere on your hard drive, and when you open it up, you're going to see the files inside look like this. Um, the one that is looks like this icon here, um, I was a bit confused. The .exe one is not the one that you would click on. It's a configuration file, but you would just double click on this, and it's going to open up the uh, ABR viewer. Let me resize it so it's um, perfect size for uh, viewing in this tutorial. And so this is what it originally looks like. Um, you have a tab for folders, a tab for favorites, and a tab for installed. Now this installed folder was not here when I um, first opened up the program. If you go to file and then options, this um, was set to go to the Adobe presets folder uh, which is for the full version of the program and of course because it didn't recognize that um, on my computer because I don't have that full version of the program uh, it, it wasn't working and so you just click here on this button and navigate to um, where your preset folder is for the brushes as you can see here's the route I took and then um, and then when I reopen the program it uh, had this tab for installed and so these are all the brushes that are installed on my computer um, most of these are the default uh, brushes that came with Photoshop elements if I go back to the folders tab you'll see there's nothing here but I can click on load brushes and then go um, let me think here to where I have some action X brushes um, on my uh, hard drive and now you can see those are here are all the action FX brushes in that folder that have, are now showed in in this list and that's kind of confusing that they use the word load brushes because we know that in Photoshop Elements when we load brushes they're temporarily loaded for us to use um, that's not the case here in the ABR viewer the load brushes just actually brings them up into this drop down uh, into this uh, menu area and I'm going to go ahead and choose the uh, stitches brushes and I'm going to double click on it and you'll see that they become viewable up here on the desktop as well as appear in this list down here if I were to um, click on another one they're going to be added to the previous set above and you're going to see that they also appear down here so each set that you've previewed to open is going to continue to be added and if you get too many open that's going to be a bit confusing so you can right click and choose to close that one now this these previews are quite small and so to make them larger we have an area up here called viewing options and you can just click right on this and uh, drag them to the right and you can see here that we have um, brushes to view because I have my window small and we can't quite see them all uh, but um, I have to have that window small to make this tutorial and so um, now we can view and see what's in this file to decide whether or not we want to temporarily load the file when we go to Photoshop Elements as we learned before in uh, Photoshop Elements uh, when we have our brushes and we can go to the flyout area and choose load brushes and then we would navigate to where those brushes are and load them now that we've decided which one uh, we want to load. Um, you can also uh, change the background. Um, let's say you want to view these with a white uh, background and maybe a foreground co color of green. Okay, well, 
this has worked for me previously but not now um, it should be changing these previews to uh, different colors but it's not um, if you resize your previews all the way up as far as they go to I believe it is 270 uh, oh look it changed the previews now now my background is white but how come my uh, stitches are not green I don't know but um, if you resize them all the way up then you can uh, choose to export the them Um, I thought I was exporting. Let's uh, export thumbnails. Let's just try it. And I'm going, I have a test folder here on my desktop, and I'm going to say OK. And it's going to run, and then open up my test folder. And you can see that it has saved each of these as a PNG image. And so um, you could now take this PNG image and open it up into uh, Photoshop Elements and control and click to get uh, marching ants and edit define brush and make a brush from uh, this PNG uh, file if you wanted to do that. Let's close this out um, you will note that it says that you can right click here in this file and choose install brushes but when I do this it does not allow me to find the brushes anywhere here in Photoshop Elements and so um, I believe that uh, this is probably a great tool in the full version of Photoshop but uh, it does not work um, in Photoshop Elements and so this is best um, a great little program just to uh, choose oh there now it's green <laughs> okay let's close this and and close this one you let's open up them stitches again and now the stitches are green and so I guess you have to choose your color before you colors before you open it up well we all learn something together there and so um, it, it <laughs> this program is best for um, viewing uh, to choose your brushes to see what's inside each of these uh, different libraries um, so that you can decide which one that you want to open up into Photoshop Elements and so um, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, oh let me see before I close here is this tab for favorites and if somebody could tell me how to use this it would be great because I could not figure out how to get anything into the favorites area uh, no matter which way I drug things um, nothing went in there I can't right click on anything and see anything that says to save for favorites uh, so I'm sure that might be a great uh, tool if I could figure out how to use it. So if you can figure that out, I'd appreciate it if you'd uh, share that with the rest of us. And so um, free program, can't go wrong just for uh, viewing your brushes to decide which ones to load. And um, thanks for uh, stopping by to listen to me ramble.